hello everyone welcome to the career development lab today in this video we are going to discuss about laravel 9 features so let's get started so everyone is saying that laravel 9 is a tls version so what is the meaning of this tls version so laravel 9 came after 12 months so that's why it's uh, called long term sport it means that tls long term sport that's why everyone is saying so next question that why laravel 9 came late because it's uh, decided in the uh, september or november i'm not sure and it's uh, came in february why because developers are updating the symphony versions that's why it's came late so now next question arises that why laravel is waiting for symphony so let's give it a read so laravel is that this framework is developed on symphony components so it means that symphony is a core components of the laravel so that's why laravel is waiting for symphony so now let's move to the uh, laravel features so i will discuss uh, with you 20 laravel 9 features so let's get started our first feature is php 8 minimum version in the laravel 9 why because symphony 6.0 which is the latest version of symphony it's required php 8 so that's why this same restriction is also applied on laravel because laravel is using symphony 6 version in laravel 9 so that's why we need the laravel 8 version okay let's move to the next one next one is new design for route list what is the meaning of this uh, route list design so let's take eye on this next slide you can see that uh, uh, get have different color a post having different color and uh, delete having different color so it means that uh, now if we have a bunch of routes we can easily differentiate that uh, what are the post route and what are the get routes so let's move to the next one a uh, new query builder interface what is the mean of new query builder interface uh, before we use uh, query builder with the db facade we uh, put db and then we can call table and then we uh, move further queries right so no more this db we can use the model for query builder so we need to define first model and then define query and then we can call uh, we can chain any type of methods we can also use the uh, with method for eager loading okay new test coverage option what is this so let's go to the next one so it means that whenever uh, you are defining your test and running them them into the console you can define their threshold so what is the threshold so threshold is defined in the in the integer format it's a 60 so you can define your own threshold and uh, play around this threshold okay anonymous stub migration so what is the meaning of this anonymous uh, migration so let's go to the next one <laughs> not next one let me uh, show you this anonymous stub stubization so first you need to uh, understand that what is stub customization so stub customization came in laravel 7 and stub customization mean we can create our own stuff and here we have in the migration we uh, in the previous version we uh, are not able to create our own migrations stub so in uh, migration we are uh, by default migration dot create dot stub so now we are uh, we can create the different type of stub like migration dot update dot stub right so if you are not familiar with this stub customization you can read the read this full article so you can uh, create your own stub controller let's move to the next one so uh, swift mailer to symphony mailer so in our email format by default laravel use uh, swift mailer to send an email so now it's uh, re uh, replaced with symphony mailer so now when we install this uh, mailer and so by default laravel use this symphony mailer to send an email okay php 8 string function so in php 8 <clears throat> str contain with str start and str end what is this so let's understand it with an example so uh, what is the str contain first to understand this 
So this function check, uh, check if string is contained in another string. So it means that we can pass a string and then we can uh, pass another string and check that uh, is uh, uh, this string is exist in second string and it will return uh, true or false. So now this uh, already exists. So these two methods are added there. So what is the purpose of these two methods? So it just check that uh, if the starting of string match with this uh, string and this check that if the ending of the string match with another string. So these two are added in this Laravel 9 update and these are available using uh, through this str facade. Okay, let's move to the next one. Next is improve eloquent accessor and mutators. How? In the previous versions, we are using uh, um, accessors and mutators by separate function. But in the Laravel 9, we can use this in the same function by defining two attributes, get attribute and set attributes. And it's more optimized than previous one. Let's move to the Laravel 9 feature 9. Okay, implicit, uh, implicit route model binding with enums. So first understand that what is enum? So enum is a, uh, uh, you can say that uh, you have uh, five, uh, uh, index array and uh, you need to uh, select one value within the array. So this is the enum. enum. So it means that we are defining our uh, custom types. So Laravel 9 using this implicit binding with enums. Okay, let's move to the next one controller route group. What is the mean of this controller route group? So let's understand it with an example. So if you have two routes, uh, which contain the order controller, order controllers, uh, a get route, a post route. Uh, so you don't need to manually uh, define order controller slash order, order controller slash orders. So it means that we are repeating, uh, repeating the order controller twice. So now we can group this, uh, group these uh, two routes in one group. Okay, and we can define our controller uh, at the top, right? Like we add prefix or middleware. That's very cool. So let's go to the next one, Laravel Breeze API Next.js. So it's very amazing. So whenever you install the Laravel Breeze, so it will uh, pull the Next.js and uh, Laravel as a backend and build a started kit with API authentication. You don't need to manually authenticate uh, your SPA with Laravel. So it's by default authenticated. It's a very big feature. Now let's move to the next one full text indexing, so a full text search. So it means that when we are uh, uh, implementing search, we use like condition in our SQL. But in Laravel 9, we don't need to use this like condition because full text is there. So first understand that how this full text is going to work. Okay, for example, you have, uh, you want to get the users from the database. So if you query this uh, DB table users, so it will automatically uh, add this where full string and then match with this full string. Okay, and then get this user. So let me, it will do this behind the scene. So you need to only define this in your migration files. When you, whenever you uh, create uh, a migration, you need to define your uh, index full text. So whenever you define this full text, it will automatically index this full text. Whenever you will uh, search this column, it will uh, match with all of the index. Now you can easily uh, match your string with the database. So let's go to the next one, bootstrap five pagination views. So in the previous version, we are using tailwind, uh, tailwind pagination, but in the Laravel 9 bootstrap 5 pagination is added, right? So that's is a very cool. And in the previous version, we are using a boot. Um, we are customly defining this in our app service provider that we are going to use this uh, uh, bootstrap and then we are able to use this bootstrap, but now it's uh, added by default. That's great. So for our 14 uh, feature is new helper. What is the new helper? It's a str. str is added a new helper. Uh, in the previous, we are using str facade. You can call this facade and then we are going to use this method str off. And now uh, Laravel 9 having this method str. Okay, we can use this str method and then append or you can whatever you want. Okay, move to the next. Next is two route. 
okay two route function generate a redirect response for a named route okay let's understand it with an example in the previous version we are using uh, if we want to redirect our user on a specific route and we want to define um, we want to define the route by route name so how we can redirect this we can define this redirect and then you can call this route method and we pass the named route here right but uh, in the laravel 9 you don't need to call this redirect you can call directly to route method and redirect user okay you can also pass this uh, parameters and you can even pass this a uh, response uh, like uh, in the last line let's take eye on the third argument we are passing this a uh, response we want to uh, uh, response uh, 301 or 302 or stuff like that so we can pass this response to this route and if we have multiple parameter we can pass this in the fourth and fifth one okay let's move to the 16 so 16 is improved ignition exception page so it means that whenever we did uh, we uh, did something wrong and ex an exception page is uh, displayed on the web browser so how it look like in the laravel 9 so let's take eye on the slide it's very pretty and it's having this text editor view so you can easily check that where we are doing something wrong so that's great i personally liked it okay let's move to the 17 server file can be removed so in the server.php uh, php file logic is moved inside the framework so you can remove this uh, server.php file from your project and uh, this is uh, used for running the php artisan serve so if you are not using this artisan serve you can remove this file next feature is 18 so rendering inline blade templates in laravel 9 you can render inline blade templates so let's watch the syntax so it's a return render and here you can pass the dynamic variables and stuff like that so in this way you can uh, render inline blade templates let's move to the 19 so laravel scout database engine so in the previous version we are using the laravel scout with the other uh, other uh, database engines like we are storing our data somewhere else and using algolia and melissa travel to retrieve this data but this laravel scout is now locally available in our database so if our database is uh, uh, small or medium size we can use this laravel scout so this laravel scout is used for full text searching in our database so it's very cool and it's lightweight now let's move to the last feature of laravel 9 so it's a checked selected blade directive so it means that whenever we are editing our form and we want to fill our drop down with selected value so in previous one we are manually handling this first we are applying the if condition and then we are checking that if this value is matched with this one so we are adding a checked attribute so now we don't need to do this we need to uh, pass this blade directive and pass this to a value so it will automatically check this if the value matched with the drop down so that's the beauty of this feature our laravel 9 features are completed and i hope you learned a lot from this video and if you are still interested to learn about the laravel you can follow my youtube channel i am posting different uh, tips and tricks on the youtube channel and also uh, creating different playlists on the laravel so stay connected and i will meet you in the next one